and today I'm just going to talk to you for a moment about cervical instability. Um, when you have a cervical instability, there's a lot of different things that can occur that can create headaches, dizziness, high blood pressure, heart palpitations, different scenarios like that. Now, if you have those symptoms, it does not mean that you have cervical instability. And so what I want to do is give you a self test where you can check to see how stable your cervical spine is. And I'm going to demonstrate that by laying on the table to show you so that you can try this test at home. Now, also, if you pass this test, it doesn't mean you don't have a cervical instability. It just means that you've gotten really, really good at compensating. So let me make sure that you guys can see this. Um, you're going to want to lay on a flat surface. And what you want to do is lay flat with your arms relaxed. If they are tight and you're pushing into the table, you're cheating. So I tell people sometimes to cross their arms or raise their arms towards the ceiling. So what you wanna do is do a chin tuck, like 20 to 30%, and lift the head like you're lifting a bowl of water about two inches. You don't want the water to spill. And what you're looking to see, and I would videotape yourself doing this, is if you lose the chin tuck or if to maintain this position your head is lift, raising or lowering so if you're doing this to try and maintain it or you're like touching the table again and then coming back up um, that is a sign that you have a cervical instability now the question is how long should you be able to hold this to make sure you don't have a cervical instability also if your head starts tilting either this way or you start tucking your chin more that's a sign that you are unstable. You should be able to hold that position for at least a minute. If you can't, there's some work that you can do. The work that you can do to start working on changing a cervical instability is tucking the chin and just holding that position for five seconds and letting go. And again, if you feel yourself cheating, so if you feel the shoulders coming forward or you feel yourself pushing with the arms, you can cross them across your chest, you can hold them up towards the ceiling, you can hold them right here in front of you. So tucking the chin. Letting go. You can also practice lifting the head and bringing it back down as if it's a bowl of water and you're trying not to spill any of the water out of that bowl. Um, you can do this in different positions. So you can do it with your chin out. This is going to probably be the easiest one because you're actually getting some of the cervical extensor muscles to help you. You can also tuck your chin this way and lift this way. People always ask, how long should I do that or how many repetitions? The truth is the number of repetitions isn't what matters. It's how stable you can stay.